Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sportsdom coming right back at you with another video. Um, and I have some Buffalo Bills news for you today. Today, they traded offensive tackle uh, Marshall Newhouse, who they signed as a free agent back in July when free agency began. Um, for uh, They traded Marshall Newhouse to the Carolina Panthers. Uh, who needed an offensive tackle badly. Uh, they, they have a lot of injuries. Um, Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott are from Carolina, so they've been kind of like trade partners, uh, especially last year when we got wide receiver Kelvin Benjamin from the Carolina Panthers in a trade. Um, and, and, and they should have traded Kelvin Benjamin. Uh, he can't catch for for his life. Josh Allen threw it right to him in the end zone against Minnesota. It, th that game, I'm telling you, should have been 56 to six. If if he wouldn't have dropped that touchdown pass, and a couple of other receivers wouldn't have dropped touchdown passes, they would have won by even more. Um, but yeah, Marshall Newhouse traded to the Carolina Panthers for an undisclosed draft pick. Um, I don't know what draft pick it is. They didn't say. They just said for an undisclosed draft pick. Um, my guess is it'll probably be a late round pick, like a fifth, sixth, maybe a seventh round pick. Um, I, I don't think it would be any earlier than a fifth. That, that that's just my uh, conclusion. They also said, and with trading Marshall Newhouse. They needed an offensive tackle, so they went and signed Jeremiah Searles. Um, he played for the Carolina Panthers. Uh, I believe he also played for the Minnesota Vikings because it shows him in a Vikings uh, outfit. And I believe he played for another team too. Oh, yeah, he played for the San Diego Chargers, Minnesota Vikings, and Carolina Panthers. So we got him uh, as a free agent from the Carolina Panthers. Um, they, I, I don't know why they released him and then traded for Marshall Newhouse. To me, I liked Marshall Newhouse and I followed, I started following Marshall when he played for the Raiders. Um, I, and I follow a couple other players like that. I want, like, I want a couple of guys from Green Bay. I can't mention their names because it's like, I, I just can't do that because I don't want people People that know who I want because then their team might go after them if if they watch this video, you know. But I did like Marshall Newhouse. Um, it, it's sad to see him go. Good luck in Carolina, Marshall Newhouse. Um, you were one of my favorite linemen. Um, why couldn't have been Vlad Vlad Dukas they traded? Damn it, that guy can't block for his life. <laughs> um, but anyway. They they did uh play uh better Sunday and I was very impressed. Um and I'm gonna uh it's gonna be interesting to see um this Sunday. They gotta keep the momentum up. Uh, and and I just wanna say something. Um there there's still a lot of negativity around Josh Allen and I don't know why. We need to stay positive and don't let what happened to E.J. Manuel happen to Josh Allen. The guy won the football game. There's no reason for negativity. He blew out one of the best teams in the NFL. They are literally one of the they're probably one of the top two teams in the NFL. And the the Bills went into their house and blew them out. Um, they're playing a lot better. And I I feel optimistic. I'm not saying they're going to make the playoffs, but if they can come out of Green Bay at two and two, come home and beat the Tennessee Titans, the rest of the schedule looks pretty easy. But with a rookie quarterback, you're going to have growing pains. Josh Allen will have bad games, and if he has one bad game, the fans are going to shit on him like they did last week because he didn't win. But he played a hell of a lot. He played a hell of a good game uh, against the Chargers. Yeah, they lost. But he fired the troops out. He told the defense to let's go. Stop being laughing stock and let's go. And then this week they went into Minnesota and he carried that team on his back. He picked them up and he carried them. 
he ran two touchdowns in himself and then he threw for a touchdown pass. But he was the leading rusher on this team uh, this past week. And that's that's not good when your quarterback is the leading rusher on the team because he's not supposed to be running. He's supposed to be throwing to the receivers. But when your line isn't protecting you and you guy got guys in your face, you have no choice but to run and jump over people like he did. I still I still can't get over that. That that was he he can't keep doing that though. He's going to get hurt. It's it's only a matter of time if he keeps doing that. He's that's one one flaw he has. He's got to stop that. Josh, stop that. Just <laughs> don't jump over people. We need you to to stay healthy and uh we can't have you getting hurt because we have nobody else. So, I think he's going to come out slinging it against Green Bay. Um, the, the Packers aren't quite as good as, as Minnesota. They, their defense isn't really that good. And Aaron Rodgers, um, one hit and he's done. Uh, I think, uh, I, I don't know how to say this, but I think if Rodgers doesn't play, it's easy. We win. I... I think we're going to win anyway, actually. It it, it it doesn't matter. They're on a roll right now. Um, Sean McDermott has them on a roll. Um, I think somebody said something to them or to the coach. Uh, I think maybe one of the Pagulas uh, lit a fire under his ass. They probably told him uh, if, if they have a shitty season like this, he could be on the hot seat, which means uh, his job could possibly be on the line, which... I don't think it should be. It's only his second year as head coach. And look it. He, last year was his first year. And he took the Bills to the playoffs. And that that's not easy to do for a first year head coach. A lot of guys. Doug Marone didn't take the Jacksonville Jaguars to the playoffs in his first year. Look it. It took him three years to get this team to where they are. And a lot of people are saying that. Oh it's Tyrod Taylor. It wasn't Tyrod Taylor. It was Sean McDermott who took the Carolina Panthers defense to the Super Bowl. Sean McDermott is a defensive mastermind. That's why this defense is playing much better. That's why they shut down Minnesota. And I think it's going to be a battle in Green Bay, but I think we're going to come out ahead. I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say 31-27 Bills. Uh, you heard it here first, folks. So comment in the comment section below. Oh, and I will be doing a uh, preview video tomorrow, so watch for that. I'm going to be doing my week four picks. I have the schedule with all the teams on it, and I'll be doing the Thursday night game, then the Sunday 1 o'clock games, the Sunday 4 o'clock games, the Sunday night game, and then the Monday night game. So watch for that video. So comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. Go Bills. Let's beat these Packers.